Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is good all the time. You are welcome to the second day of uh, the five days prayers that has been scheduled for the year. It is my prayer that we will not just pray in vain in the name of Jesus. The almighty God is going to open the heavens on our behalf and all our prayers will be acceptable and we shall have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll take this song as we start the prayer for today. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know I am on the Lord's side. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. And the Lord is by my side. As long as I live, as long as I live. I am on the Lord's side. Can we all sing it again? I will be on the Lord's side. And the Lord is by my side. As long as I live, as long as I live, I am. Our God and our Father, this is our prayer this evening. That as this year has started, we pray that all God will be on your side in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray against every obstacle Amen. that wants to debar us from coming to you, from calling unto you. Father, oh Lord, we pray that they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. We ask that God, the Spirit of God, will be upon us. That we will worship you in truth and in spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. As we start this prayer today, Lord, we ask that God, you will back us up. That, oh God, your spirit will teach us what to pray about in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. This evening, our team says, for the year it says the year of the Lord's favor and our text is taken from Isaiah 61 verses 1 and 2a we are going to read it together if you have your own version of the scripture please let's open and read it again Bible says that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Today, in the name of Jesus, who is on God's side? Because when we say the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, what do we mean by that? If you are not a child of God, the Spirit of the Lord, you cannot have it. So the first thing we must note this year, as we begin this year, is that we must reaffirm our faith. Is that we must rededicate our lives to him. Now God, in any way I have sinned and have fallen short of God's glory, Lord, I ask for mercy. I rededicate my life to you. This year, I want to be on your side. It's only when we are on God's side that the Spirit of the Lord will be upon us and will begin to carry all these things out. And for adventure, you have not even given your life to Jesus. This is another opportunity for you to say, Lord, I surrender all because I want to walk with you this year. I want favor to follow me this year. 
I want people to follow members of my household this year. So we need to rededicate our lives and surrender and confess that Jesus is Lord. He said, if you confess our sin with our mouth, he is just and he will forgive us. He said, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. Whoever hears my voice and open said, I will come in and I will stop with him. Are we ready to follow Jesus? Are we ready to stand by God's side? Can we begin to declare? Can we begin to open forth our mouth and begin to say, Lord, I surrender all to you. That song says, I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. We have to surrender. Open your mouth and begin to pray that God, as I start this year, Father, oh Lord, I want this year to be a favorable year for me. Therefore, I surrender whatever things, whatever may it may be that is putting me aside, that is pulling me back. The Bible says it that put his hand on the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. Lord, I want to be fit for your kingdom. I want to gain eternity. Lord, I surrender. I want to follow you this year. I want the favor of God to locate me wherever I go. What in whatever I do, shall we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Father, oh Lord, we declare that God, you will help us. You will give us the grace. You will give us the anointing that we need to move with you this year. To move with you this year. The reason why I am created is for me to worship and praise you. Lord, nation of days, may I not be a victim of it. Not praising you will be another thing for me coming. Lord, I want to praise you. I want to overcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy of our praises. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. If you read Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29 to 31, because we want this year to be the Lord's favor for us. Isaiah 40, 29, he said, he gives power to the faint, and to them that have no mind, he increases strength. The Bible says, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We are going to ask for God's divine power this evening. The power to overcome failure in our lives. The power to overcome sickness. The power to overcome barrenness. The power to overcome frustration. The power to overcome even death itself. That God, you will give me power. He said, he gave it power to the faint. You are going to surrender, like I said. You have no power of your own. You have no strength of your own. But the Lord has promised that he's going to give us that strength. And we shall have increased strength. Shall we begin to pray that, Lord, I need your power. 
testimonies. Ah, devil, you are a liar. You will not be. Oh, you will not overcome me. You will not overcome my children. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are awesome, God. Father, we exalt your holy name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. We are going to use this psalm again to pray. Psalm 121. This year, where are we going to lift our eyes to? Where are we going to lift our eyes to? The Bible says, I will lift my eyes onto the hills from whence comes my help. Do you have help anywhere? Do you have a hanging somewhere? Do not put your trust in man. You are going to put your trust in God because man will fail. Let us lift up our eyes and say, Lord, my help this year shall come from you. In the name of Jesus, you will not suffer my foot to be moved. You that keepeth Israel will not sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel does not sleep nor slumber. The Lord will be my keeper. Shall we begin to declare it? That God is here, you will be my keeper. In the name of Jesus, you will be my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day. Neither that shall the moon smite me by night. The Lord shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. The Lord shall preserve my going out. This year, in the name of Jesus, and it shall preserve my coming in from this time forth and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because my eyes is fixed on you. Daddy, I fix my eyes on you, and I expect you to help me. I have no other person to turn to. I have no other God to cry unto. But you, O oh God, shall be my help. In the name of Jesus, declare it. Declare Psalm 21 into the life of your family. Declare it into the life of your business. Declare it into the life of everything that your hand touches. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. According to the word of God as Psalm 121. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. This year also we want to remember our nation. Our nation, Nigeria. We are going to use this few minutes before I round up to pray for peace in our nation. We want peace. We want peace to strive in the middle of the struggles that we are passing through. In this middle of worries, fear, anxiety, pressure, or, or, or brutality that we face on a daily basis. We want your peace. Peace that passes all understanding. Peace, Lord, give to us in this nation. Let your peace reign. You said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. You said, then you will hear from heaven because we have turned from our wicked ways. Lord, you will heal our land. Heal our land and sweep it with peace. Sweep it with your love. Sweep it with your compassion. Help our leaders to be peaceful. Help them to come to the full knowledge of you to serve the people better. In the name of Jesus, let your peace radiate in this nation. Let it be over this nation, from the east to the west, from the north to the south. Your peace we reign. In the name of Jesus, John chapter 14 verse 27 says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. Lord, we thank you for your peace that you have left with us. Even right from the beginning that you came to the world to die for us. You have left your peace with us. Lord, your peace will continue to reign in our life. In the life of my household. In the life of this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Declare peace into your life.
Because according to your word, your peace will always abide with me. Thank you, ancient of days. We worship you, O God. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We adore you, O God. Thank you, Jesus. You are awesome. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My help, my help, my help, my help. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My help, my help, my help. My help, oh, my help, there is something that makes me come into your presence, my help. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us to your presence today. For the Bible says in your presence there is fullness of joy. Lord, I pray that your peace will reign in our lives in the name of Jesus. We have come because we know your presence. Things will happen in our life. Lord, I pray as we go into your word, speak life into us in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, stand as our helper and help us from all our challenges in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering us, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Again, welcome us, please. We thank God for this moment and it's a prayer for the year. As I'm starting this year with prayer, I pray prayer will bring testimony to us in the name of Jesus. We thank God because God is our faithful God. We have started since yesterday, and we thank God because God has proven to be our great healer. And I pray the healing of God will reign in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Today, I want to consider something very important before we go into another section of prayer. And I want us to look at what we have in Psalm 121. Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and the earth. Today, I think our gathering today, and I say, God, our helper. God, our helper. For the psalmist to write this, we must think that something must be happening somewhere. He must have been passing through some things, and this suggests that there is danger on the way. And for him, instead of looking up to man, he says, I will look up to God. Not ordinary people. He says, instead of looking up to man or the creation, he says, I will look up to creator. Because God is the maker of heaven and earth. In him, our protection is sure. In him, we have hope. In God, we know that things will happen in our life. And I pray as we are praying today, that God will do something great in our lives in the name of Jesus. When we look at this verse, we can see this man asking the question, I will say he has a rhetorical question. It says, from whence comes my help? Maybe you have been looking up to man before now. And you are not seeing any result at all. Maybe you have looked up to kings. And you have been disappointed. But this day he says, from whence comes my help? And we thank God in verse 2, he made the answer clear. That I'm not looking up to man again. I'm not looking up to government again. I'm not looking up to people, rich people again. But I'm looking up to God, the creator of heaven and earth. Today, many of us are making mistakes because we are looking at the creation. We are looking at God's creation. We look at men. We look at things around us. We look at money. And yet, we are met with disappointments because they are not stable. They are not reliable. But only God is reliable. 
if God is the creator of heaven and earth, the psalmist says, I'm sure that he has power to take care of my need. If God is the creator of heaven and earth, I'm sure that God will protect me from all evil. And I pray because our God is strong. Our God is reliable. And I pray he will prove himself strong today in the name of Jesus. God's help is the only help that we can count on in times of trouble. God's help is the only help we can count on in times of trouble. Know what that we have in Psalm 46. Verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. What this is saying that yes, we have people in time of trouble. There are some people that can help, but they are not available in time of trouble. We have some people that can help, but they are, decide not to help us because they are expecting some things from us. We have some people that are present in time of need, but they cannot help because they are not our present help in time of trouble. But the Simon says, this God is a very present God, is a very present help in time of trouble. When we believe in God as our helper, one thing is sure that it will cure the fear in, of, of evil in our life. Psalm 23, verse 4 says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and the staff, they comfort me. It shows that no power can save us. No power can help us when we are passing through the fear or evil, but only God can help us. When we look up to God for help, it shows that our future is with him. For it says in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, that I know the thoughts I have towards you. There are thoughts of peace of a better future. It is not with man at all because they are not stable. They are not reliable. If you put our trust in man or we are looking up to them for help, we will end up being frustrated. We will end up being in shame and reproach because that is their nature. In Psalm 20, verse 7 and 8, it says, Some trust in chariots, some in horses. But we remember the name of the Lord. They bow down and are falling, but we are risen and stand. The help of the God is the key to our health. No wonder in Mark chapter 10 from verse 46, when Bartimaeus saw this man, he cried out and said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Because we know is the key to our health. I pray I can see God is changing your story today. And I pray God will change your story to glory in the name of Jesus. I pray God will change your disgrace to, disgrace, to divine appointment in the name of Jesus. And pray your harassment, I pray, will be turned to your advancement in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to hinder your help will be consumed in the name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. He says, heaven and earth may pass away, but the thoughts of his word will not go unfulfilled. Let us pray. Today, I want us to consider this word of God. I want us to look up to God and not to man again. Because man will remain man, but God is faithful. The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13, it says, For I, the Lord your God, 
we hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. I want us to pray to the Lord and say, God, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. I've tried man, and I know that they have no solution to my problem. But Lord, I'm calling upon you. I need your help. Lord, show me help in the name of Jesus. In that Isaiah chapter 40, 41, from verse 11, it says, Behold, all those who were icing against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. Pray to the Lord and say, Lord, I pray, those who stand against me, those who are contending with me, Lord, let them be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Lord, those who are contending with your power in my life, Lord, let them be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. He says, those who contend with you shall be as nothing. Lord, I pray, frustrate the plans of an enemy in my life in the name of Jesus. Frustrate their plans in the name of Jesus. Pray to the Lord. I don't know what you're expecting from him. I don't know what you have been battling with. But call on God, the great helper. Our present help in time of trouble. And I know it will not disappoint you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, I pray today. I pray into the life of your people that favor will take them to the greater level in life in the name of Jesus. I pray by the help of God. I pray you and your family will reach places in the name of Jesus. Your children shall not be wasted by the enemies in the name of Jesus. Deadly disease will not take them from you in the name of Jesus. You will love your enemy to scorn in the name of Jesus. I pray this year you will achieve exceedingly in the name of Jesus. I pray the current help will flow in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare that everything in creation from today will rise and help you in the name of Jesus. I pray everything in creation will rise for your favor in the name of Jesus. Your destiny helper will locate you. I pray your destiny helper will locate you. I pray the destiny helper of your children will locate them this year in the name of Jesus. I pray those that you have been looking. I pray this day the Lord will open unto you in the name of Jesus. You will express open doors from today in the name of Jesus. Favor beyond your dream. I pray we come your way in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough beyond your imagination. The Lord will do in your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make a way out for you in the name of Jesus. I pray he will take you away from your mess and take you to your place of destiny in the name of Jesus. I pray God will send help out to you. He will take you from shame to fame in the name of Jesus. I pray testimony, we come your life, we come your way this day in the name of Jesus. I pray God will send people to you. Your helper will locate you. I pray generational blessing will be upon you for good in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says, goodness and mercy shall follow me. I declare it to your life from today, the goodness and mercy of God. We locate you in the name of Jesus. We follow you wherever you go in the name of Jesus. I pray for your family. The Lord will keep you in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. No evil will come near you in the name of Jesus. No power will trouble you in the name of Jesus. Because the mark of God is upon you. I pray the trouble of your life will be distressed in the name of Jesus. And I declare to your life. This year is our year of favor. 
I pray God will favor you. Men will favor you. Whatever you do, whatever you lay your hand on this day, I pray we favor you. I pray to you from today, the Lord will announce you to the world in the name of Jesus. Your glory will be announced to the world in the name of Jesus. I pray those who look down on you this year, the Lord will celebrate you before them in Jesus' name. I pray God will make your word. Question, people will see you and say, God is great. So shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. The Lord has declared that this year you will experience divine visitation. I pray in your case, the Lord will intervene in the name of Jesus. I pray in your problem, the Lord will appear in the name of Jesus. I pray in that thing you are battling with, the Lord will be present and help you out of it in the name of Jesus. I pray to you that every corner of the earth, I pray God will draw blessing to you in the name of Jesus. From every four corners of this world, I pray from today, blessing will come your way in the name of Jesus. You will not die. I pray you will not die. But you will live to proclaim the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I speak into your family. Today, peace will reign in the name of Jesus. I speak in your family. From today, peace will reign in the name of Jesus. It says the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding. We keep your heart and mind. I pray from today, that peace We keep your heart and mind in the name of Jesus. I pray from today, people will gather and celebrate you. I pray from today, people will gather and announce you to the world. I pray from today, wherever you step, I pray you will possess the name of Jesus. I pray wherever you go, I pray you will be highly favored in the name of Jesus. Your children will not die. I pray your children will not die. I pray, star, glory, stature, we not know your way in the name of Jesus. From today, I pray, God will go before you. God will fight your battle. I pray God will make your way straight. God will give to you the hidden treasure in the name of Jesus. As the Lord was a present help for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I pray, I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know what people are setting for you for this year. But I pray the plan of God will prevail in the name of Jesus. The plan of God for your life will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Every conspiracy against you. I pray this year the Lord will turn around and make you your glory in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face shine upon you. The Lord will be gracious unto you. I pray for you. I don't know your personal request today. But one thing I know with our God, that our God is able, abundantly able to do it for you. I pray for you today. All your requests, the Lord will turn to testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray in this church this year. I pray you will be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Every mark of the devil to put you to shame this sin, to put your family to shame this sin, I pray with the blood of Jesus, God be raised in the name of Jesus. I pray when they are looking for people to honor, they will look up to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. I don't know your plan for the year. I don't know your project you have for the year. But one thing I know that God is able to complete that project. I pray that project, the Lord will complete in your life in the name of Jesus. If one of us says, you will not labor for another to eat. I pray for you. Your labor will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Whatever you are looking up to God for, this year of favor, the Lord will do for you speedily in the name of Jesus. I don't know, maybe your children are giving you problem. We have the case of Jabesh. He called upon the name of the Lord and we're told that it was more honorable than his brethren. I pray this year, 
that problem in your family, the Lord will turn around and make it your glory in the name of Jesus. I don't know. Maybe you have been called with a name because of your problem. I pray the Lord will change your name in the name of Jesus. He will call you with a new name in the name of Jesus. A name that people will see and they will glorify the name of the Lord. I pray that will be your name in the name of Jesus. With a new garment, the Lord will clothe you in the name of Jesus. I pray every garment of shame, the Lord will pull away from you in the name of Jesus. Any garment of disappointment from today, the Lord pull away from you in the name of Jesus. From today, God will clothe you with the garments of righteousness in Jesus' name. He will clothe you with the garments of praises in the name of Jesus. The psalmist says in Psalm 40, they say, I waited on the Lord and he heard me. I pray because you are waiting upon the Lord. I pray the Lord will hear you in the name of Jesus. I pray because you are waiting upon the Lord. I pray the Lord will answer you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you a new song to sing this year in the name of Jesus. A song of praise shall be your portion. I pray a song of victory shall be your portion. A song of victory shall continually be in your mouth in the name of Jesus. The praises of the Lord will not cease in your mouth. I pray the praises of God will not cease in your family. The praises of God will not cease in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you have answered us. We bless your name because you have done it again. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. Before we bring it to a close, I don't know if you have a personal request before the Lord. Just tell it to God today. I don't know what you are expecting from the Lord. I don't know your request before the Lord. But you can put it before the Lord today. The psalmist says, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Our God is our present help in time of trouble. And is ready to do it for you. Just put it before you. He said, cast your burden onto him. For he cares for you. Just tell it to God today. Do not doubt when you are asking. He said, a doubter cannot receive from the Lord. Just pray with faith. He says, if you ask anything, believe that you have received it. And you will receive it. Just ask. And say, Lord, because you are the present earth in time of trouble, I'm laying my request before you today. Lord, help me. Begin to thank the Lord because he has done it. I know that he has done it. Because he can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus, the same forever. He has never, never fail. He has never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus, they say for him. Begin to thank the Lord because we know he has done it. Begin to thank him. He says, my word that I sent will not come back to me without fulfilling that which I sent it to do. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Without glorifying. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved Christ, I want to say a very big thank you to every one of you. Thank you for joining us on this platform and for the prayer for this year. And I want every one of us to please write a prayer point and also share it on our walls because one of the praying for us this year. We know that our God will do great and awesome things. Let our families, our friends come together around us and let us pray together, knowing fully well that this God will do great and awesome things in our lives. Don't forget, by God's grace, tomorrow, um, 6 p.m., we'll also be on this medium to also reach out to us as we pray together. Let your friends, your family share the videos share this, this stream and let us pray together. 
and let us lift up our parish at the church of God, a nation in prayer, and God will answer us in the name of Jesus. As we bring this prayer to a close, I want you to make this declaration. Oh Lord, my God, I shall live and I shall not die. You will use me to fulfill your purpose. Oh Lord, my God, I shall live and I shall not die. Lord, you will use me to fulfill your purpose in the name of Jesus. Our God and our Father, we give thanks to you. Lord, we prophesy and speak to the year 2021. The Lord, oh God, your power will descend in the name of Jesus. As your servants have declared, so shall it be for every one of us in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for our homes in the name of Jesus. The Lord, our prayers, these five days, Lord, we make the heavens to open in the name of Jesus. The kingdom of darkness, Lord, you will destroy over our lives in the name of Jesus. I declare that as you go forth in the year 2021, that it will be the year of the Lord's favor, that there will be open doors on all sides in the name of Jesus. Lord, as your people pray in secret, Lord, you will answer them, Lord, openly in the name of Jesus. Over this holy assembly, there will be testimony. Lord, your favor will follow us on our sight in the name of Jesus. Let your hand rest upon us. Lord, as we go to sleep tonight, Lord, cover our eyes with sweet sleep. In our sleep, encounter us. And Lord, God, speak to our heart. When morrow shall come, may a new song fill our lips. When we shall gather again to pray, clothe us with the garment of prayer and of praise. And the Lord, of God, your heavens, Lord, we continue to open over us. Let your peace go with us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Unto God's gracious mercy, I commit every one of you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord Amen. make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift up Amen. the light of his countenance Amen. upon you and give you Amen. peace Amen. and grant you joy and favor you Amen. and your household now Amen. and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Amen.